Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Greetings, family. Greetings, greetings, wherever you are watching us from. I want to thank you so much for being very, very supportive of this platform. I'm deeply humbled when I see um, family members already waiting some hours and hours before the show starts. Thank you very much. We are so encouraged when we see you standing with us in that manner. So welcome once again to this prayer session and this show. We are here discussing about the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. The time is now. We are in the season of prayer. We want to make sure that the plans of God for this season, that Zimbabwe must be free, must happen, whether the devil likes it or not. Zimbabwe is becoming free. For those that are joining us on the show for the very first time, I would want to encourage them to subscribe, to like, to share, and also talk to somebody about this gospel of the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. We are here live right now and talking about issues that are happening in the nation. So I'm going to be talking about the many disturbances that uh, happened uh, a day or two ago. We saw a lot of things happening. We saw a lot of misinformation going around. And there's always, family, we always discuss about these issues. And we say, wherever you go, go wherever to other platforms. But remember to come back home. When you come back home, we are now coming to straighten up issues. We are coming to make sure that everything is reported as it is, not as what other people are thinking about out there. There is an issue that has been circulating all over, and uh, many people are still confused even up to now. But we want to be looking at that. So today, <clears throat> sorry, we are going to be discussing Nelson Chamisa's Mkwana's Shibaya strategy that knocked out many. And what are we talking about today? We are talking about issues that we have been saying here on the show. What has happened is not new, especially to those who are on the show, who are on uh, family members of this platform. You know we have been talking about these issues, and this is not the first time. And when we see some of these things happening, we are very, very quick to know exactly what is happening. First of all, let me begin by saying uh, when this uh, news of uh, especially Chibaya started to go around, uh, I was uh, very quick to watch the very first broadcasters that started to go around with the issue. And uh, I'm telling you, I just said to myself, this is just very wrong. This is just, some people are missing something here. There are a lot of people that are missing something. One thing that I want to tell you, people of, of God, is that uh, the chain champion is uh, a strategist. That's one thing that you must know. He's a master planner. And uh, this time around, Varakashi, uh, Zanupiev, the naysayers, and even some who are also uh, change, in the change agenda, they were also confused about what is happening. But I don't think we should be confused. If we go back into issues that we've been discussing in the past, you will re realize that uh, what happened is not new. This is not a new thing. Uh, these are issues that we've been discussing in the past. If you still remember in the past, uh, we came on the show and we discussed about Promise Mkwanans, I think you still remember. And family, remember what I said. I said that in that show, let us not be quick to judge him. Let us not be quick to judge him. And I even mentioned something like, I'm still believing that uh, Mkwanans and some other individuals have been left there as um, shock absorbers. I used that word, shock absorbers. And I said, while the new uh, blue train movement is being built. We needed some shock, shock absorbers back there where things are happening. So I'm going to be going with us into uh, the uh, presentation that was done by Mkwananzi. We also go to the other reports that have been uh, broadcast out there and uh, people have been confused, which is which. But uh, I'm telling you, when you listen to words being spoken, remember... I'm always saying we are the spiritual uh, platform. We are the men and women of the spiritual. And we hear things that other people don't hear. 
and we see things that other people don't see. You know, when Mkwaranz was speaking, there's a lot that you can pick from there. There's a lot that you can deduce from his statement and the way that he speaks. And you can pick up some things that other people that are just haphazard may not pick. This is what we want to do. We want to come out with a very straight answer of what is happening out there. But one thing I can tell you is all things are in order. There is no confusion whatsoever. There is no betrayal whatsoever. There is no uh, infiltration whatsoever. There is nobody that has been bought or somebody who is backslidden, big, big, big if I can use that word. It is still intact. Everything is in order as it has always been. Right. I would want us to go uh, and look at the reports that have been given out. And Promise Mkwanans himself has come out and uh, corrected the, the record, especially on the report that was given uh, some uh, if, if few days ago. He has responded right on his tweet. And this is Promise Mkwanans. <clears throat> he says, an ethical and uh, sensational reporting is on the rise. Nobody has betrayed anyone. Our organization, Beru Chief Honorable Chibaya, uh, is doing his work in accordance with the milestones set out to prepare the transition from the old to the new. As a journalist, it is imperative to ask if uh, you don't know so that we can explain to you where we are and where we are going. We continue to urge members of the public and all stakeholders to trust the process and ex exercise patience as we navigate the intricacies of the disturbances and disruptions visited upon the democratic alternative by ZANPF regime, we are on course. Behold the new uh, beacons. Right. So I think he was responding to the report that was given by uh, Gambakwe, and uh, he has said things that were really, really out of uh, 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 offline. When I listened to him, the moment he was even sharing this, I said to myself, man, the man is just lost. He has not picked something. He is not, there is something that is uh, out of touch with him. And uh, he reported so confidently, like he really knew what he was talking about. But let us just take a listen to the portion that he is. Good evening to you all. And uh, as usual, I'll give you an update if there's something significant that happens during the day. And today, something really significant has happened. And this is the press conference that was held by the CCC of um, Timba and uh, uh This press conference has surprised everybody because next to Promise Mkwananzi was Amos Chibaya. As you know, Amos Chibaya has been leading the campaign for the Blue Movement of Nelson Chamisa over the past few months. And Chamisa has clearly said that there is no link between the CCC and himself and the new blue movement so it is becoming clear uh, that chibaya was not uh, working for chamisa he was doing his own thing i have confirmed with people inside uh, and what people were very close to Nelson chamisa and Nelson chamisa was not aware and people close to Nelson chamisa were not aware that chibaya was going to be attending this meeting so chibaya basically surprised everybody by appearing with uh, promise mkwananzi and I want to show you uh, what happened. Uh, Promise Mkwananzi has actually appointed Chibaya as the organizing secretary of this uh, movement, the CCC, which Nelson Chamisa has uh, re removed himself from, which he left, which he resigned from. Mm -hmm. So you can see uh, the video very, very quickly. Uh, here, I've taken a short clip uh, from the video, which came out of the press conference this afternoon. I've also asked Promise Mkwananzi to confirm if Chamisa was aware of this and he has not responded to me. But the people that I know that are very close to Chamisa have told me that Chamisa was not aware of this and is in fact very furious uh, that Chibaya did this. Right, this is this is the report that we are having. We are going to be playing that video, so I'm not going to allow it to play here because we will go into that video again and uh, play it and listen to what is happening. I wanted uh, us to listen to what he said because he also spoke about uh, gift Ostalo Siziva and he was saying uh, gift Ostalo Siziva was actually in tears because of what Amos Shibaya has done 
and uh, he, he spoke so confidently, like somebody who really had the information, who really knew what was happening, and he was also talking about sources that were very close, that he claims that these sources have confirmed that this was the issue that was happening. And it looks like uh, the video uh, is not playing, but I've already shared what is happening, what, what he spoke about in, the, in, in, in there. But uh, I would want us to discuss something first before we can go to the real video of what happened. Right. I would want, uh, I wanted to bring the video of uh, Ola when he interviewed uh, Gift of Stalosis. I think you still remember that one. Um, unfortunately, that video was too long. It was about two hours, 30 minutes plus. If those that watched it, you still remember. So it was so long to the point that, you know, uh I, I i could not go exactly to where the portion was where he spoke about this but i just want to remind people uh family remember what uh ola asked the uh, gift of stalos and uh, how gift of stalos answered the answer that was given by ostalos when he was speaking that very time i picked something from gift of stalos which is confirming exactly what is happening today right ola asked the Ostalos and he said, uh, are you saying that all those people that remained in the triple C who uh, 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 did not move out or uh, or did not resign, uh, you have already dumped those people. Those people are not going to be coming to the to the movement that you, you look like you are moving ar around with. And uh, Ostalos Sizwa never said yes. Ostalos Sizwa continued to insist that we and we have said that the triple c is not the vehicle that is going to be bringing the new great zimbabwe and then ola said no you have not answered me correctly i'm talking about the people are you if you dumped all those guys who have remained there and and and, and things like that then he, he ostalo said there are people that have decided to work with the enemy there are people that have decided to support and to stand with the zanu pf and uh, those are the people that have lost the the direction of the struggle then he came and ola said again but still you are not answering me do you still have guys there or you no longer have any guys that are going to be still part and parcel of you then he said we are going to work with all progressive Remember, I want you to catch this. We are going to work with all progressive individuals that are for change. And those people are out there. And he said, okay, uh, where are these people? Are they for the blue movement or are they for what? And he says, we are leading the citizens. This is a citizens movement. I want you to catch that. And when you look at it, you could tell that Ostalos was implying that there are some guys that are still there that are still part and parcel of where we are going and he could not just outrightly uh, declare that everyone who is there is garbage and rubbish he, he, he dodged that question he never wanted to categorically state that the guys that are still out there they are all chaff and they are not going to be part and parcel of this if we go back to our discussion on the last on the one of the pre previous shows you remember the very show i was referring to you about where i was saying to us let us not be quick to to answer or to 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 conclude on what is happening with this other clique of the timbers the promising quarants you remember hope which no no was now coming with those allegations of uh uh, uh, uh as a cio and things like that and things like that you still remember and i said in that show uh, family let us not be quick to conclude and i said don't worry because we are in the season of what of exposure so whatever that is hidden shall come out truthfully one day we are going to see whether promise mkwanans is indeed uh, an agent of zanu pf or he is working on the side of the movement you still remember and i said let's watch the space one day I wish people could go and play it and play that very show. I said, one day we are going to come back on this very show again and we'll be talking about Promise Mkwanans and at that particular moment, we'll be exactly speaking of who he is because the truth will eventually come out. And I think we are at that stage now. We are at that stage. We are at a stage where it is becoming clear exactly what is exactly happening right now.
And I want, first of all, people that are on Twitter, remember what uh, uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa posted on his tweet when he was holding a dog. <laughs> and uh, some people, of course, they just take things literally. But I am telling you, there is a significance of what he was talking about there. So he was talking about having unleashed these people into the movement, into the political environment. And his people are working towards the major goal, but you may not be able to identify who they are. So he, he was simply saying they are underdogs that are working. <laughs> that, are, that are working in these systems. So let me explain something. Before we can go to analyze uh, the statements of Mkwananzi during that, sh that presentation, I would want to first of all give you this hint. Right, the hint is, after ZANU-PF had used Shavang, and uh, the BTs and the Nuvens came out in the open to show that uh, they were actually pro Shavang and working behind the scenes with Shavang. The chain champion must have seen it that, okay, the further plans of ZANU-PF with a united triple C is going to be a problem. If he were to just go out and maybe the rest of these guys go out and leave Triple C pure, of course, nobody knew at that point that uh, Welshmen, Nube, and uh, BT were not going to be able to see eye to eye with the Shabang. But already he had made a plan to make sure that we would still want to know what is happening right inside the Triple C. So some guys, some cadres must remain within so that they can throw spanner. The last, the last time I was saying, I believe that Promise Mkwanans and the other team are there to throw spanners. Right now, look at where the Triple C stands. There is a faction of the Mkwanans side. There's a faction of the Mnube side. There's a faction of uh, Songhez side. And there's also another that other Blauayo faction. Right. Already, if ZANU-PF wants to continue to use the Triple C, it's going to be very difficult to use a triple C that is in four pieces, you see? Because already being in four pieces, it means now ZANPF cannot know exactly who is more powerful, who can we use in this instance to do more harm if they may want maybe to start to harm the next movement or the next stage. So having some guys still there, they'll be knowing and hearing of any plans, any such meetings that other people will be doing there with ZANPF will be leaking to other to the other factions of Triple C, one which happens to be still loyal. I want you to understand one thing. Promise Mkwanans from day one has continued to address the chain champion as our president. I want you to re remember that. Even when he declared himself speaker and he declared Timber as the leading um, uh, man, he still mentioned, mentioned that uh, we are still in connection with the with the, with the with the president, Nelson Chamis. There is not even one day, even when you go to his tweets, there is not even a single day that Promise Mkwananzi has spoken something that is against Nelson Chamisa or is indicated somehow that he was in agreement with either Mafume or Mbiti or Nube or Songheso. There is not even a single day. They've just been in contrast from day one. If you look at uh, uh, his profile i've looked i don't know if he has changed it now uh, if you look at his profile picture his profile picture used to have uh, president chamisa with the blue behind him you remember that picture it was what uh, used as a profile picture from Quanans for a very very long time i don't know if he, he has changed it i didn't even check today so when you look at this you would find that there is a, a group that is still very loyal very very loyal to the chain champion and these people are strategically or were strategically left within the triple C so that they can monitor what is happening and to be able to hear what are the plans ZANPF could be planning with this grouping. And unfortunately, like I said, ZANPF did not know that there was going to be a misunderstanding between uh, the Nube uh, BTs and Shabang. They thought these guys were going to unite and become one. Nobody expected that that crack but fortunately on our part the crack happened and now the triple c is worse off it can't be used anymore and now when they started declaring that they want to be 
rotating on the presidents. You still remember when they came up with their three presidents who shall be on rotational basis. Promise Mkwanans came and threw spanners and he started, he declared himself the leader. There was a time that he declared himself the president. You remember that time? So as just to cause confusion. And Song Yezo was the only person who could not declare himself as the president. He never declared himself president, including his people that are behind him. All that Song Yezo wanted was, you know, to just go to the parliament and have his guys got there and maybe himself end up at Senate. I think Song Yezo is satisfied where he is now. I think he's fine because it doesn't seem like he still has any other ambitions. And whether he has ambitions or not, but he cannot go anywhere because nobody ever want to see Song Yezo in Zimbabwe. So he will never even attempt to go to the people or to try to elevate himself from whatever position that he had given himself. As for that other faction of Bulawa, uh, that one is just dead. We don't even know what is happening there. Right. The next thing that I want to talk about is the CNA. This CNA is the highest decision-making board of the C. And this CNA was reporting directly to the chain champion. This is one thing that I want you to understand. Remember when Shabang was doing the recalls and things like that, the meetings of the CNA continued to go on and the chain champion was coming to meet those individuals there. And when the truth of Wende and Nube and Bittis came out, that is the time that Wende was found not attending the CNA meetings anymore because they knew that now they were exposed. But the CNA is the highest decision-making body of the party. They continued to salute their, their president. They continued to be directed by their president up to this very day. So when the, the clique of Mkwananzi, the faction of Mkwananzi is saying, we are coming to make declarations. They are making declarations based on the outcomes of the decisions that are coming from the highest decision-making board. So what it means is the CNA, the highest decision-making board, never aligned itself with the BT or Nube. It never aligned itself with the Songhees, but it continued to align itself with the Promise Mkwananzi, the Timber, and the rest of the Satchwires and the others, as well as still uh, recognizing Nelson Chamisa as their leader and the president. So can you see that uh, Songhees is so small already BT and Nube, very, very small. I think this is why BT decided even to withdraw and he never even talked about the Triple C ever again. And he's not even addressing himself as the vice president anymore of the Triple C. As for Nube, he just ended by speaking that very time when he spoke to Zenzel, uh, I think on that interview, and declaring himself like a president. From there, he has been quiet. He never speaks about the party. He never says anything. Mafume... The last time that he really like came out to speak was when he spoke to Dar and when he was embarrassed and he saw that he has embarrassed himself and then he had pro brought in more confusion than needed. He went back to his chambers as the, as, the, as, as the Harare mayor and he's concentrating there. He's no longer coming out to speak as the triple C spokesperson like he had declared himself. So when these guys started giving themselves positions, you remember Promise Mkwanan and his faction would come and attack. And they would declare that those guys, they are null and void. And they have said it again in this very interview, in this very uh, press conference. They've indicated that Nube, BT, uh, uh, Jacob Mafume, and what, what, all those guys, they are null and void. They are nobodies because they are not recognized by the highest decision-making board, the CNA. Can you see what is happening here? And the CNA, in support of uh, the faction of, uh, uh, of uh, these guys, uh, the Mkwananzis, is continued co consistently in, in, in respect and in support of the chain champion. So which means what has just happened is these other two factions, especially BT, Nube, and the Song Ezo, they have just remained as a very, very small entity that is almost insignificant when it comes to what can be called the triple c today the only trick the only part that is a bit tricky is when it comes to the mps there is where i am not very clear what really is uh, happening there who is who when it comes to the mps but i'm sure the guys that are inside they really know 
who is who in terms of the MPs and things like that. So this is the, the, the strategy. And if we go to 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 our last discussion with the uh, with the gift uh, Ostalos and what how he continued to talk about a citizen movement that is just one that is going to be moving as one. I would want you to catch those words because we are going to come now to hear what promise was saying. And then you can connect that to what Gift Ostalos said that particular time when he refused to condemn everyone. So this is, or this has been a strategy that has been set and it has, uh, it has just knocked out many, many people including those that are in Zanpia, they were confused, Varakash were confused. Varakash started singing. To, I saw a, a lot of uh, Varakash singing and dancing, celebrating that uh, um, Amos Shiba had deflected, not knowing that, no, no, no. You are actually playing within the territory of the lions. The lions are, have their story and have their, 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 their kill right in their possession. So this is what is happening. So... I would want us to go and hear what Mkwanan said, because there are some things that he said which are very, very important, which will clearly indicate what we are talking about here, that we are in the right direction. Things are just fine. There is no confusion. There is nothing that uh, other people would, would, uh, would have wanted to paint. The, the, the picture is very, very clear. So I, I have that video here of Professor Mkwanan, especially the time that they started asking questions. And I took it uh, from H HSTV. We just want to acknowledge them for this video. So let us just hear what he said here. He also added that he's going to lead engagements with uh, President Kanisa. What is the status of those engagements? And secondly, you announced uh, Mayor's, Mayor's Forum. I tend to be corrected on that. But then uh, one of the mayors in the nation is Jacob Mafumi who is a mayor under the banner of the C, And yet you claim that he is not part of the party. How do you plan on addressing that contradiction? Another question. Uh, do you foresee the party getting stronger and stronger considering that um, in courts, uh, the former president of the party, Nelson Chamisa, had a considerable following and are likely going to follow his... Uh, blue movement do you see your party getting strong to such an extent that it can take on zanu pf in particular head on right i want to comment on this guy who asked the question the, la the last question so this guy has got the assumption that uh, uh, the promising kwanan's faction is a triple c party that is standing on its own that is his assumption so he's even asking whether this party is going to be able to strengthen itself that it will also challenge um, ZANU PF because his assumption is that uh, uh, already many people have already followed uh, the chain champion towards the blue movement. So the blue movement, yes, could challenge. What about you? How strong are you going to be? Because most of the people are going to follow Nelson Chamisa. That is his idea. So I would also want to hear you to mark how Promise Mkwanans would answer that question. Thank you. Thank you, members of the press. Uh, I just want to state that uh, engagements with uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa are continuing. And members of the press will be advised accordingly as and when it is necessary. In terms of uh, Councillor Mafume, he was elected and sponsored under the Citizens Coalition for Change. He was our candidate. Unfortunately, Councillor Mafume has decided what he has decided. And the party cannot be beholden to that. This movement is bigger and greater than any individual not least its objectives and aims, which is to attain and usher in democratic change in our country. In terms of whether the party is going to get stronger or what, what I can tell you, my brother, is that the democratic alternative 
in its entirety and totality is getting stronger and better by the day. Right. I want you to catch that word that he's saying. He's saying the democratic alternative in totality. Catch the words there. This is where a lot of people get lost because they just, I don't know where people will be listening to. People must listen with an eye, with an ear, <laughs> with a certain ear, probably a spiritual one. This guy is saying the democratic alternative in totality. So here, what he's saying here, he's simply saying there is just one movement. There is just one movement that is going to take over. And now he's now beginning to use the democratic alternative. You still remember the issue of DAS? <laughs> you still remember? He's bringing that name and he's supposing that uh, or suggesting that the movement is just one. So what he's implying here is that his faction of the people that he knows that are still the original people that are saluting the chain champions are part and parcel of the same movement that people are, uh, some other people are taking as a different entity, which is the blue movement. This is what he's talking about here. It's just one it's in its entirety. There's no difference. There's no crack. There's no division. We are just one. But here we are at a certain place where we have to be acting for, the, for a certain reason, for a certain purpose and a, a certain strat strategic reason. But we are still one people and we are still one group. And we are going to make announcements. You hear him saying we are still in consultation with the with Nelson Chamisa. And when the time comes, we are going to be advised. You people, we will be telling you the next step of what things are going to be happening. That time that he's talking about is when his faction and the CNA will be totally moving to, in, into the uh, uh, to be uh, to be inter integrated into the blue movement. This is what he's simply saying here. I want to say that uh, the, the struggle for democratic alternative in Zimbabwe is not limited nor confined to the Citizens Coalition for Change. It is broader and transcends the Citizens Coalition for Change. Right. Can you catch these words? This is exactly what I was talking about, which Ostalo said when he was talking to Ola. You still remember? The very same, of course, they, they, they just said it in different semantics, but the, the idea, the gist of the idea here is just the same. This is exactly what Ostalos was saying when he was being pressed by Ola to say, no, we want to hear whether those guys are still with you or not. Answer that question. And then he said, the democratic uh, uh, movement is greater than individuals and it is greater than it, it goes beyond the triple C. That's exactly what he said. And we are hearing it being said again this time around. Do you think that these are not guys who sit in the same meetings and they, they read the same notes, they, uh, they write the same notes, and they go out there with the, inf the same information coming from one same table? They are one people, this guy. And in that regard, it is in our interest as a party to ensure that we continue to grow the democratic alternative in our country and that democratic alternative as i have already stated is broader and transcends the citizens coalition for change and in the coming times <coughs> events may be unpredictable can you hear this can you hear this in the coming times events may be unpredictable so what is he saying here what is he trying to imply this is very clear I don't know how people get lost there. This is very clear. Why I am analyzing with you this is so that we can exonerate uh, Amos Chibaya. We are trying to shed light on Chibaya as we are talking about the, this discussion of um, Mkwananzi, the discussion of Ola with the with um, Ostalo Sizdiva, so that you can see that Chibaya knows what he's doing. Chibaya is not a sellout like what those other people have started to run around with and saying, uh, why is Chibaya at that place? So in other words, we are putting Chibaya in the clear light here by analyzing these statements. I hope you are agreeing with me as we are going. Citizens Coalition for Change will have to align to the developments in the country. Can you hear this? I wish I could take this back again a bit. Let me take this big, big, a bit back. Events may be unpredictable. Citizens Coalition for Change will have to align to the developments 
in the country. Citizens Coalition for Change will have to align to the developments that are happening in the, in the country. What are the developments happening in the country? There's a blue movement. There's a new movement that is already on the horizon. And what Citizens Coalition for Change will have to do, it will simply have to go and get swallowed. It will have to simply go and align with the developments that are happening already. Very, very clear. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think this is about it. So this is the analysis. This is what we are talking about. This is the strategic. So can you see that the strategic ambiguity is not yet over? While ZANU-PF have been mocking strategic ambiguity, hey, this strategic ambiguity has caused this and that and that, they did not know that it was still going on. This time around, it has continued to go on and it has beat them in their own game. I'm telling you, there's a lot of ambiguity that is happening. There's a lot of things that are being done strategically because we are dealing with a rogue enemy. We are dealing with a rogue uh, opponent. And we cannot have our things just being laid bare right on the table so that the enemy will be able to read our notes. Notes and the cards have to be kept close to the chest to make sure that ZANPF does not pick what is happening. ZANPF must also be confused if we are at, at the end going to win the battle that we are fighting. So people have lambasted Shibaya left, right, and center. Some people said, we have known it. We knew it. You, you knew what? Knew what? People have failed to get the gist of what is happening here. There is nothing like Shibaya selling out. Of all people, I tell you, I can put my, 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 my hand on the block for Amos Shibaya. That man is a man who is worth his salt. That man and gift of Stalosis were fat I we can we can bet those are horses that we can bet for in this struggle. I'm telling you. So all that uh, the Gambakwes and all other media were running with is totally, totally untrue and wrong. And this looks like this is the correct picture of events that are happening. And clearly, Provost Mkwanans has said it and he has, uh, he has not means this word that eventually. Uh, you are going to see unpredictable outcomes happening. Number one, you are going to see the triple C has no choice but to end up aligning with the developments that are happening. And we are still in liaison with Nelson Chamisa, the chain champion. And uh, an announcement shall be given in due time when we will be telling you the way forward. What else do we need to hear? What else do we need to hear? So the guys are in one place. The guys are one. The guys, the movement is strong. And it is the movement is moving. So I'm sure the process that they are going through now is to make sure that they now quickly, uh, you know, uh, eliminate all those other people that still look questionable so that they don't join the group that comes over. And one thing that I want you to see here is that out of the people that have been nominated by the CNA and given uh, responsibilities, including Chibaya being given that responsibility as organizer, you will find that there is no one from those other factions that has been included. That's, that shows you that these guys are in their own corner, doing their own thing, and they are in agreement and in disagreement with others. So that's why you did not find people like Carsten Mat Mateo being given a position, Tendai Biti, Washman Nguve, Sengezo himself, and uh, 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 the Changirai boy, and uh, who else, Mazimba Muto, and the like, and all the other funny guys, they've not been given any position by the CNA. Why? Because they are known to say these are the real sellouts. So the sellouts are known. They are pre pretty well known in the triple C. The sellouts are known. So no, not everybody just turned out to be a sellout just because Shabang had done what he did. Nobody knew that Shabang was going to come. The only people that knew of the coming of Shawang were BT, Nube, and uh, a few others. But the majority never, never knew that Shawang was going to come and such a thing was going to happen. We must understand that. So no, everyone doesn't just all of a sudden become an enemy just because Shawang has come and he did what he had to do. So we are very, very intact. We are, there is no division in the movement. The blue train is strong. And it has its cadres deployed in some strategic places of warfare. And they are going to be recalled back home after the mission is accomplished.
they will come and carry on the guns and the fight will go on and the great zimbabwe the great new zimbabwe is going to be delivered so this is it family this is exactly what is happening we are putting more pressure to make sure that free zimbabwe free zimbabwe and free zimbabwe we want our country freed and we are excited we are in one direction varaka she can dance and dance all they want and they think that we are divided and uh, some other people are backsliding but i can tell you they don't know what is happening this is what is called strategic ambiguity you never know <laughs> you never know what is happening you can be beaten while you are watching and you never know it's a it's so these guys are just pieces on a chessboard the change champion is just playing with the pieces of the chessboard moving his pieces of the chessboard to make sure that the strategy to beat zan pf in its own game and all its surrogates continue to happen so what we are saying is let's continue to pray for our nation as intercessors let's pray for the movement the movement is strong the movement is intact we are going very soon waiting for the declaration and the announcement that is coming that everyone has said gift of stylosis were also said wait for the announcement is about to come and promise mkwanans is also saying very very soon an announcement is going to come and events that you don't expect are going to be seen happening or expected to be declared and announced so the same language same everything there is no confusion there is no division everything is moving in, in the same direction let's continue praying god is in it and god is directing our leadership and god is directing the intercessors to make sure that everything goes as, as expected as god is in our in our front delivering the new great zimbabwe that we are praying for and the new great zimbabwe we have been believing god for i'm just going to be taking one or two uh, contributions from the members of the family uh, and i'm hope i'm hoping that a lot of people have been healed <laughs> remember this platform is a healing platform a lot of those that with their hearts broken what is happening with the chibaya now so what will happen to the blue movement i'm sure you are healed now yes it's a healing channel <laughs> Otherwise, I just want to hear what other members of the family are saying here. Uh, Kampala says, I, I'm still confused, to be honest, what is going on now? Mnangawa claims to, uh, claims uh, is Devel all of a sudden. Can we be honest with citizens, please? Ah, that one is their old baby. Uh, we know that some PF are liars. Anyway, why should we be worried, worried about them? They are trying to find the relevance. Nangagwa wants to, he knows that the referendum is coming when he wants his third term, so he wants to win the hearts of the, uh, the developed people so that they, maybe they would vote for him in the referendum. So he wants to align with them, but that's a big lie. We spoke about it yesterday. Uh, Norina Chimunza says, fear and panic is not our portion. The devil is a liar. God is in it. Exactly. Exactly. We are not panicking at all. Everything is intact. Uh, Gogonube says he's not developed. He's just trying to win the hearts of the developed campaigning gimmick. After 43 years, then you claim to be developed. Just imagine. Just imagine. And the way you were saying it yesterday, we've even discussed how he was flip-flopping and how he was sweating. And he was not even coherent in the way that he was saying uh, the things you are saying uh my brother gift says god leading the subject must order fresh elections in zimbabwe their member states without favor or fear yes whatever it is we are still praying god will choose his best way whether develop or shona or whatever can we be honest with citizens for god's sake we can't even trust ourselves as zimbabwe yes as unpf is, is a culture of lying and you know you can the the rain can beat the leopard skin but it will never wash away its spots that's exactly how uh, zanpf is like Hi, brother. Late entrance. How are you, family? I'm confused now. Could see which is which. Is this what is called confused the, en the enemy strategy? Yes, you have answered yourself, uh, my poet, uh, uh, Sister Phyllis. You have answered yourself. Yes, that is confusing the enemy. I think by now, maybe that comment came before we analyzed. I'm sure by now you are very clear after we've gone through the analysis of what was said and what we have heard in the in the previous. Zanubi and who have made Zimbabwe suffer with their propaganda, they must go. Like yesterday, they must just go. Uh, uh, Guvia says that's very true. Uh, CCC promised Mkwanan said our president is not Shamisa until today. They've never missed their words. They've never, never, they were just correct and straightforward, standing on the right platform, the very same platform up to today. Right. Uh, powerful and true insight. Thank you very much, my brother, Gift. Um, Shava says, who knows, maybe it's a, strate a strategy to disguise Zanupiev. That's exactly what it is. You have heard what Promise said about what is coming. So we can never be still in doubt. The thing is clear, clear, clear as crystal. 
right uh, good evening chatufa family blessings uh, wherever you are around the world together we stand divided we fall god is in it god is moving and we are seeing him uh, showing us the direction rangarai says hi brother chatufa indeed you speak the spiritual vision all what you are saying is uh, from wisdom from above because you are seeing beyond the horizon thank you very much yes we are praying and the, the spirit of god that dwells in us will continue to give us the true revelation of what is happening on the ground those that went into the spirit of god like the gambakwes they will run the the, the the desert and find themselves sweating when they are millions of kilometers away from the truth i agree with you but from Sukana said something important all the mps chosen by the people during 2023 are still on their position they disregard the, all the recalls and uh, by-elections by Chabang. Yes, yes. A lot have been said. Uh, uh, sorry, brother Chibai, I thought you are like BT and others selling the struggle. Oh, thank you very much for that story. Indeed, for those that uh, had also already started judging him, uh, we must send our apologies to, uh, to Comrade Chibai. Hallelujah. Because we are people of truth and faith. And we know that what is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. If we uh, we were in the wrong by judging him, indeed, we must apologize to him. You still remember that time when I was apologizing to the marching of people because we insulted them so much after the elections only to realize that they never voted for San Pio. Yes, so it is a very good thing to do as God-fearing people to say we are sorry to Amos Chibaya. Never take Gabago seriously is a... Is a uh, is a vacill vacillating journalist. Uh, yes, uh, there are those that believe in him and they may continue to believe. But I've always been saying to you here, please be careful, listen to them with a pinch of salt, some of them that are out there. Why hear that is going for a holiday? Uh, my sister Ethel says, hello, Chatufa family. Thank you, my brother Chatufa, for explaining the issue, this issue so well. Thank you for explaining. Thank you very much. Indeed, we are now in the clear. We now know the truth. Memory guards, the calling of Nelson Chamsa is greater and bigger than a party. His, his calling is to lead a nation which will include men and women of integrity across the board. Yes, thank you very much, my sister. Thank you. That is, you, that is very, very true. Brother Edwin, how are you? Says Chamisa described it as a fight of ideas. He mentioned this after resigning from the Triple C. The strategic ambiguity is presently at an elevated level you can say that again say that again there's nothing other than the truth that you have said there that is very very true yes um can i just get some comments from other different people good evening chain champions god knows what is best for us indeed he is he is he is uh caroline says thank you brother chatufa presentation well understood thank you very much this is why we are here to debunk the lie of the enemy after 2018 elections is just a liar. <laughs> no, people would want to just get some different views. Uh, I don't think it's a crime to go there. Let them go there. But like I'm saying, you always have to take them with a pinch of salt. From those guys don't just believe everything they say. Thank you, man of God. Then I can sleep tonight. I was in pain, but you just healed me. Ah, thank you very much. I was talking about healing. Somebody has confessed that they are healing indeed. They are healed indeed. Uh, Betty says, good evening, Chatufa. Watch, watching from South Africa. Edenville. How is Edenville? I hope you are blessed there. Gambako Ndamuza would say about Shibaya Chatufa Inotaura Inotaura truth. I think she wanted to write truth. Phyllis Sagonda says, I'm healed, sure. Ah, it was confusing. Thank you, Chatufa. Ah, so uh, you see, the purpose of this um, mission and this uh, uh, very show has been accomplished. When we see people now getting to understand exactly how things are like. My brother Elisha says, Thank you so much, Chatufa Netsanangoro. Nda Zorora. Ah, a lot of people. Va Zorora, indeed, my brother. I'm so uh, happy that finally we are here. Like I'm always saying, family, we can go to all those platforms, but when we want to get the truth, let's come back home. Truth is here, truth is home, and we will end up getting the truth because we have the Spirit of God who refuse to ask the things that other people may not be able to pick up. Otherwise, family, I want to really thank you for joining me in the show. And I hope everybody is excited that the struggle is intact and there is no division whatsoever. So thank you so much for joining me. Let us pray for the struggle. Father, we thank you that we united as always. You have given us the spirit of unity, of love and of power. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we are praying for the struggle. We are praying for the blue movement. We are praying for the chain champion. We are praying for intercessors. We are praying for the 
uh, for the for, for all those that love change, the peace lovers in the whole nation. We pray for the nation of Zimbabwe. And we are saying, Lord, thank you that the season for the freedom of the Zimbabwean people has come. Continue to guide us and to lead us. Let the Holy Spirit that dwells in us continue to reveal the things that other people cannot, cannot see because you have given us the gift of your spirit who dwells in us. Otherwise, we thank the Lord so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Family, thank you so much. Uh, we shall be meeting uh, once again tomorrow in our shores. I want to salute you for joining me. Otherwise, it is well. Shalom, shalom. Till we meet again, I sign out.